This guy showed up. Are we cool again? Welcome to Machines and More. I'm busy testing through a few coolers for the 5800X double tower cooler roundup, and that's gonna drop soon. But the revised Cooler Master SFX power supplies showed up in the meantime, so let's just take a quick look to see how it's doing. As a little refresher, the initial units of these SFX power supplies featured a fanless mode when the load was below 15%, but this led to some erratic behavior when the fan first came on. And when your system crosses over that 15% mark, that fan's gonna spike and it's trying to flush out all the heat that's built up from being off for such a long time. The problem really is that if your system's idle load is close to that threshold, and that just happens to be for a lot of systems at 15% of those 750 or 850 watt units, if you opening an application or moving the mouse after a system sits a while will result in fan spiking, which can be super annoying. I'll leave the video linked up here since I'm not going to document that behavior extensively again, but with this revision, Cooler Master essentially removed the load dependence for the fan, and now that fan behavior is completely temperature dependent. So let's take a quick look here. First off, the box no longer has any reference to the 15% fanless behavior, and that's how you know you have the revised unit. The fan curve pictured on the back will also show a smooth curve instead of the drop off to 0% at that 15% load threshold. Now when I unboxed it, I was thrown by the sticky note on the unit. Uh, it basically says that the fan won't come on until a certain temperature has been reached. Upon further clarification with Cooler Master's power team, this is actually Actually correct just because they removed the 15% fanless specification the fan isn't necessarily always on it will still turn off if the unit is cold so don't be surprised when you first power up your system and the fan doesn't spin so once it warms up a little bit that's when the fan will start so on a cold system your fan won't spin in fact I fired up heaven 4.0 on a cold system and still no fan until it ran for a while but after it does come on, that behavior is very gradual and it doesn't spike at all. In general, the fan will stay on and spin at a low level, which is better anyway, since it's kind of pointless to prevent the fan from spinning when it's inaudible anyway. Let's just do a quick comparison at uh, load between the two units. I did warm up the units a little bit prior to restarting the system and starting that timer. And what I'm doing is showing key points in the fan's behavior. And that difference is mainly at the load changes. In other words, when an application is turned on or off is when that pre-revision unit was having issues. I'm running Unigen Heaven 4.0 with an RTX 3080 Founders Edition in this system. Uh, my particular card has noticeable coil wine, which I've partly mitigated by undervolting, but I've also moved the PSU outside to better record the sound. And the sound to focus on is the point right after shutting down Heaven 4.0 because the GPU is not at load anymore, but the PSU fan is still running. I ran Heaven 4.0 for about 10 minutes, and then I shut it down for the sound bite. Then I let it idle for three minutes before reinitiating. And for the pre-revision unit, I open up Cinebench just to show again what happens after idling for a while. I'm not even running it, just opening the application and you'll see that spike. Now when Heaven is reinitiated with the pre-revision unit, there's also a spike with the fan, but then the speed ramps up, it 
tempers out after that heat is cleared out. With the revised unit, you also have a similar speed ramp up at the beginning. It's more gradual, but then it also evens out. From what I measured, there is a difference in the fan noise at load. The pre-revision unit is a bit quieter at the same draw. It might not be very noticeable when inside the case, but the bigger difference and the more important one is that the pre-revision unit has that erratic fan behavior, while the revised unit has fixed that and has smooth fan behavior. Now, other than that major electrical change, these units are pretty much the same. And with the fan being so much better than before, I would totally, totally recommend these revised units. From what Cooler Master has assured me, they are exchanging the pre-revision units if you'd like. Based on feedback from our viewers, there was a lot of mixed messaging from Cooler Master's customer support initially, but I am optimistic this has gotten better. Also, if you're in the market to pick up the power supplies for the first time, they told me inventory on sites like Amazon are currently the new version. So just double check the box when you get it. It should have that Japanese capacitors logo instead of the 15% fanless reference. So all around good news. I do appreciate that they took the feedback with this revision and a big thanks to them for sending by these units for testing. And if you're having trouble getting a revised unit, please comment down below. Because if there are customer support issues, we in the SFF community really need to let the power team at Cooler Master know. So there you have it. Hope that was helpful. We have a fun dual tower roundup coming up soon for the 5800X. So I'll be seeing all of you soon. Please do all that fun YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, and check out some of the product links down below. And thanks for watching.